Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about tab control with radio buttons or you can say radio list navigation control. So here it is an example of courier tracking uh, application, the landing page and it is having the three different uh, list uh, where we can select and enter the value for the related input field like here it is order id mobile and reference id so once we enter the related uh, input we can go for the search so let's start with an example here uh, it is the reference id and then the mobile number and then the order id so a user can select the related field which they have or it is available like a mobile number and they can click on the search and go to the related page so designing this uh, I have created uh, two pages which is like a front page which is having the final uh, design and the component page which is having the various component like uh, input field so input field is having the default over and the active so three different state is available here for the input field and the same way for the radio navigation uh, start with this radio icon which is having three different state like a default hover and the active one and once we have done with this radio list or uh, radio icon we can use this radio icon to here and make it the label accordingly like uh, the name and uh, we can uh, create the level or you can see the text property uh, so easily you can enter the values so this radio list and then uh, the input field we can use this instance here and we can place the search button so coming to the front page here you can see uh, this is uh, one section and which is having the three different frame which is like uh, the reference number mobile number and the order id so in order id i just uh, use this tracking form which is created in components and the radio list nav so radio list nav is here so i kept this uh, radio list nav here because we can give the easy interaction to from here and we can give the link here so uh, this while we are giving the link for this mobile uh, there is one catch like uh, while we are giving this we need to set the state like a reset component state so once we check this it will come in this way like while I click on this and user click on enter mobile number it is get highlighted so it is on the active state so once we click on this reference id number so it will reset this state it won't come directly to here so uh, this is the one catch so we have to keep in mind like uh, we have to reset component set and uh, the navigation if we use here it will be very easy to make the interactive so no need to give here again the interaction because it is a component and it will inherit from that so this interaction will uh, directly we can use the instance and we can change this easily so here it is a order id and in this frame it is the mobile number and in this frame reference id so three different uh, property is uh, defined here in radio list nav component so uh, this is the one of the method uh, to create any page or while we are designing any page in a figma which will make us uh, like a very uh, easy to interactive or easy to maintain and if in future we need to make any changes we can go to the component and directly we can change it here uh, like a color or you can say that 
typography or any font size and the color so uh, while we have done with this component we can directly uh, drag and draw and uh, it will be like uh, this title will be on the top and then we can place this navigation from here to here so before uh, that just we need to uh, make it the link or interaction and then we can uh, place it so again we no need to give the interaction here so how is the trick and uh, how is the way to create this please write on the comment and this file is uploaded in figma community so you can use easily and uh, you can create uh, this application means uh, any of the application and you can do the fast prototyping so for today thank you thank you very much